Cowboy, it's time for us to talk about the biggest story on our burner, which this is where we need you to please whip out your phones and text us. Let us know what exactly is on your mind, what you want to share with us. Is it what we've talked about or what we're about to talk about right now? We can confirm that um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the coach of Manchester United, has the worst winning percentage uh, since the post-Ferguson era. And that particular uh, conversation leads us to this particular field. Ole out. Is it time or is it another uh, conversation that will go out? Or maybe it is that time that United needs to go forward and think that it's time for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to step aside and allow another person. Or, what, or maybe something else is a problem. All these men, are the, the guys that they hold all the aces, what do I know? I'm just here to direct the conversation. So please sit back, relax and enjoy. We'll be right back after this. If Moyes, Van Gaal, and even Jose Mourinho couldn't solve the problem of Manchester United in about five years, how do you expect a certain man in a hooligan to solve it in two years? Isn't that telling us something? That this problem of Manchester United is beyond coaching. And on that note, I say, I don't think hooligan associates should be let go at this point in time. 14 months into Jose Mourinho's reign, United drew at Liverpool and lost at Huddersfield. His criticism was brutal. 14 months into Holy Gun and Social's reign, United lost at Liverpool and lost at Burnley at home. And it's being passed that it's not his fault. Is being a club legend a pass or not? Because he has to go for me. And we are back. Gentlemen, it's time to go right it. Let's just dig in. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, is it right for him to go? Dari, um, what's your thoughts? Um, show me a club um, mm. without a sporting director, a big club without a sporting director, and expect a quality template of football from them. I don't think you can think of any at this point in time. Um, show me a club um, who cannot be patient with a coach for two years and is ready to build a new thing entirely and is expecting a success. It's more or less masquerading or painting a, a, a crack wall yeah. instead of remolding. Mm. I mean, show me a club whose um, legends, in quotes, mm. are being pushed outside without necessarily giving them the opportunity to take the ball by the own, but rather I had the most experienced manager and yet they fail and you are not ready to build again. Putting the blame at the, at the, at the, at the footsteps of the manager, mm. it's, not a, it's not a solution to their, it's not a solution to the problem of Manchester United. Mm. All they need first is to get a sporting director and, and you know from there, mm. you can now begin to judge the manager. Why? Because you have a template in place. If you don't have all these things in place, it will be difficult to bring a manager because all these managers will always come in with their own philosophy, whether it favours the club or not the same manager knew they knew mm. before coming in he knew mm -hmm. but it's the same manager that was there and went on the 10 games wins 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 there was no problem mm -hmm. but what happened you're saying the board the board the board or the club legend those are those are things so it's it affects almost all football club but you have to do your job you're the manager your philosophy has to be put across i didn't blame only in the first few few months of 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 him taking the win because it's normal when you come into a new club you have to pass your message across you have to pass your philosophy across okay. and it takes time for those players to soak in it's 14 months into his reign and he's still like as if he's just been employed it, yesterday it, 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 interesting how you nail a certain knowledge to this um, to the cross forgetting the fact that even a certain Jurgen club spent three years and almost eight months without a trophy without a trophy in manchester in, in, in liverpool before finally getting one what does that tell you a patient football club will well, definitely succeed down, at the down. end of the there day was, there's and a, there's a big and, difference and, and, and if, there's a big and, difference what was the difference club, what's the difference fine, fine club Club had, Club had the rocky start. Okay. But Club, 14 months into Club, we could see something. We could see a pattern of play. It's simple. A it's, patient Club it is with not, a manager not will patient. succeed. It's and not just a sporting being patient. director. He's not just been patient. So, 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 like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mo. I'm sorry, um, Daria, as well. But are we saying it's not an Ole's problem now? Is the sporting director problem? It is difficult to okay. put everything at the foot of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Okay. Because with the way Martins is going with Manchester United, yeah. they don't have a sporting director. So how do they even play? What does the future look like? That means for was every time... That that was, means, was, was there a sporting play, director play, play. During, during the time of Ferguson? That is Ferguson. And that is the problem. For Ferguson. every manager that comes in, you tend to relate with the, Alexander, um, Alex Ferguson. I'm not relating. It's, it's just how the way Manchester have been playing for a very very long time. Mm. It's not that it, fine, fine. Yes. Show me, a, show me a big club without a sporting director. 
Send me one. It is difficult to get one. And that is why even as big as Real Madrid is, with, this with, the, with the club president being domineering, they still have a sporting director. As big as Barcelona is, with the philosophy well, that is know, obvious well, you know, that will give them know, the best know, in the world, times, they still have a sporting director. Sporting as small as a certain Ajax is, they have a sporting director. sporting director. directors also backfires on the club. How? E.g. Chelsea. Okay. Chelsea went to a, a, they, are, they are facing issues right Thank you right for now. mentioning Calm Chelsea. The greatest right time, the, the biggest issue let, 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 let him finish. They, they are facing issues right, right now because of Marina as their sporting director. Okay. Buying great B players for the team. And that's why they are facing issues now. Uh, with, and and, with, and, with, with and, the, and the most successful the time of Chelsea was when they had a certain Mike and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the most, as their sporting and director. And the most successful time of Chelsea was being changing, changing coaches when it's going bad. And it has proven them well. That is because they have a template from it's, a sporting it's, director it's that will just, never change. It's not, and that template it's not just the not, template. No, no, no. no. You the have to have a philosophy the going into the template. A coach, a manager, has to have a philosophy going into the template. Then you can have a manager that will fit into the template. Gentlemen. Without having this in place, you will definitely struggle. Gent but, but again, we, we need to confirm something. I, I don't think a sporting manager, is, sporting director, is the <laughs> problem. I mean, it's not a problem. I don't think it is, 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 is the issue of a sporting manager. But I think if you've seen Man United play, okay. Do they even play as if there's any purpose? No. no. That's no. A, so no. is that a job so of a sporting manager? Now, 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 now. Like I said, there's no spending time I, I recall, training. I recall vividly, let's leave the Moyes era. Mm. I recall vividly under a certain uh, Louis van Gaal. Mm. Manchester United were unnecessarily passive. And they all complained that they were not direct enough. Now, we brought in a certain um, 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 Jose Moreno. The complaint was the fact that they were all playing long balls, even though it was getting results. And now, it's a certain illegal and social. And that now, means, and now that the means, problem is... The and, the, and the problem is still there. And the problem is still there yeah. with philosophy of different managers. The problem what does that there. mean? It why will you means that... Why will you sack a world-class manager and hire someone... That 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 doesn't even have a portfolio. Excuse me. I think me? he will come and perform magic. Excuse it's me. It's not possible. We have seen For managers. That, we, we have seen managers that doesn't have the antecedents get the big clubs and succeed. Now you know the problem is there. So why hire a small a yes man? And they've hired a, a, yes a big man. manager that failed. What are we saying here? They've, they've hired Van Gaal. They've hired Jose Mourinho. Tell me the big coaches when they were hiring this coach. I'm available what, at that time. What's, what's your what's your term of failures to those managers? What's your term on failures? Because because the, because, the, because, they because, because, no, because no, they want no, trophies. No 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 because. Because we can we can have the recurring decimal. Because we can have the recurring decimal of Manchester United not playing up to optimal. That is what we are talking about here. So, so what exactly about the way they played that time? Yes. Still not better than now. So what has changed? I mean, the, it's obvious. It's the worse now. Is, it's worse now. It, 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 it is worse now. They are, it, it isn't rather. Why? Because they are currently fifth on the log, just six points behind Chelsea. And, and what does and that mean? Even your Tottenham position. And, and four points behind and even, position. And even your Tottenham, your Jose Mourinho, is still behind him. As now, we do with all different. the other and the other. What, what do you mean? Can you buy the gold difference in the market? He, he came in January. He came in January. Who, who cares? Who, who? I mean, for no, the team that cares? go to the final, that no, for the team that cares? go to the final of the Champions League, what are we talking about? Gentlemen, is, is going to go back and forth, and that's, I mean, that's why it's all sports at the end of the day. But again, we also have to um, have that particular time where we call final weeks where I get to wade in on one of these things discussed by these gentlemen. But importantly, to have you guys, uh, the viewers, of course, the followers, do well to go on our social media platforms, especially especially at Outspot NG uh, on YouTube and go to the comment section and let us know what exactly it is your thoughts is and are about what we've heard here today. Is Ole deserved of being the manager of Man United despite all we've seen or should we just give it time? Find out what my um, final whistle is right after this break. And that's it. Uh, we are done and dusted with everything in Outspot but not only um, do we thank you? We also appreciate your following on social media. So how about you keep it coming, uh, especially on Twitter and, of course, the YouTube channel. Here's my final whistle. I think um, for a Manchester United team that have won so much over the years, uh, I think they're in a very, very bad place, especially mentally. They've lost their identity. They've lost the fear factor. They've lost everything that Alex Ferguson and Sir Bobby Charlton and the Euros past of Manchester United had suffered to get where do they go from here? Um, I think the class of 92 have done more damage than help the particular legacy of Ferguson, especially with the fact that they keep patting Ole at the back, but then criticize Jose Mourinho for the same thing. Ole's start is absolutely atrocious. In some part of the world, it's criminal. Uh, but unfortunately, United has the highest wage bill of the clubs in England. Not even Manchester City can stand the wage bill. Anthony Martial earns more money than Salah 
and Manny and Firmino. Luke Shaw earns more money than Robertson. When you look at all this put together, you think, do they even have a direction? And is Ole out the answer? Maybe no, but does this need to change? It does. But yeah, what do I know? You guys owe all the aces. Do what to text us. Let us know what exactly is on your mind. Uh, the number on your screen is the number to go, as well as uh, the um, comment section of the social media. We'd like to thank everyone that made this production what it is, especially these two men in the studio. Adari, you had a tough job today, but you came out good on the other side of the story. Uh, uh, well done. I wish people can see what's happened behind the scenes. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You guys need to see that. Uh, and of course, Mo Max, uh, well done. Thank you very much yeah, for coming through today. Much. Thank you. Uh, before I go in, out of the studio today, I have to say a very big thank you and happy birthday to one of the best out there. Um, David. David is our director and a man, of course, who I've worked with for years and years. So he's a guy behind the scene. You never see him, but he makes everybody look good on set. Happy birthday, David. God bless you. Thank you very much for all you do. All right, so guys, we will see you again next week, Saturday. And like I always say, take care of yourself. Look after each other. Do not treat others the way you wouldn't like to be treated. Remember, bye for now.